Now, uh, I have to stand corrected on one little point that I made on page 175, because I said that Gandhi had been given dictatorial powers by the Indians uh, as a general whole. And uh, I was wrong about that. The reason I brought it up is that even differences of authority can be held within a concept of heart unity. So if you're the boss and I'm not, there's a fine line between my accepting that as, as a natural, or, well, let me put it this way, accepting it as a temporary arrangement where I've given you authority, let's see what you do with it. And so, for example, in the Mondragon cooperatives in northern Spain, there are managers, but anyone can become a manager. And if you don't do your managing job well, you are uh, politely escorted out and somebody else comes up into that position. So that even one of the most divisive differences of all, the difference in power, can be integrated into a heart unity framework. So in that connection, I made the comment that Gandhi had been given dictatorial powers. And I said this in public once at a meeting with Narayan Desai, Mahadev Desai's son, who's a wonderful human being. Uh, we lost him a few years ago. And he pointed out, no, that it was the media that said that. Congress never gave Gandhi dictatorial powers, and he never would have accepted that idea. But he was absolutely in control while a campaign was going on. He said, I am your general. As long as this campaign is going on, you cannot run a campaign the way we tried to run Occupy. But he said, the minute you don't want me in this job, I'm out of here. So uh, that said, I think we can understand uh, the power of heart unity. And again, uh, by way of closing, I would invite us to think uh, what would heart unity look like in our own personal lives? How would we find that fine line between not accepting an injustice and not feeling a loss of dignity because the injustice has been offered to us and definitely not offering humiliation or indignity to other people. So think about that, if you will, and think about what would be the charka for our comprehensive strategy, our coherent network of programs. Uh, I had an idea that came up in the course of writing, Search for a Nonviolent Future, but I've modified it since then. So this is a real cliffhanger. Uh, enjoy the book and the conversations and to do some more next time.